The purpose of the yellow banners, which you see here, and which you will see on corners in Mission Viejo up until the election, are to inform voters of important facts that they won't hear anywhere else. These banners are not sponsored by special interest money, but by citizens who are very concerned about many issues that the city is not addressing. Let me give you a quick history of these banners. In 2002, after Mission Viejo had been a city for 10 years, it had accrued $100 million in bonded indebtedness. Residents became alarmed and objected to the city's business practices, but council members held a deaf ear. The yellow signs became necessary to wake voters up to the reality of the indebtedness the city was in. We needed a change, and we made headway. But now we need even more change as the city continues to burn through money, particularly in overbid contracts and no bid contracts. That always means higher fees for us citizens and more expenses out of taxpayers' pockets. Let me introduce our esteemed council member, Kathy Schlitt, who will explain in further detail some of these issues I've been speaking about. And then Joe Holzman, who will identify some unnerving characteristics of candidate Rick Sansemeyer, who's running for city council. Kathy, go ahead. Thank you, Barbara, and hello, friends. Our largest investment is our home and family. That is why we all chose to live in Mission Viejo. Our quality of life is unparalleled, and we need to protect that California promise. I thank you for your confidence in electing me as your voice on the city council. I love being on the council. I love doing what is right. Being on the losing end of many 4-1 or 3-2 votes, I voted against over $22 million in non-bid contracts. I shamed the council into rescinding its lifetime health care benefits. I opposed removing the misconduct clause from the city manager's contract. The council recently renewed its contract with waste management. However, when the council rejected the lowest qualified bid, we as citizens will collectively be paying $7 million more over the lifetime of the new contract. As a political move, our trash bills will be temporarily reduced by 13.5% for the initial period of the new contract. Then our bills will begin to increase, which increases the city revenue from the collection of higher franchise fees a form of hidden taxes. Leadership is not about imposing one's will, but working together for the best interest of our citizens. But these last several years, we have seen a shift in City Hall, from bad to worse. We need to preserve our reserves, which were $35 million in fiscal year 2007, and have fallen to about $26 million today. Many have noticed that the council majority uses the bully pulpit to belittle and marginalize me when I try to defend the truth. Rick Sansemeyer is of similar temperament. The truth is not in him. Mr. Joe Holtzman will explain further. Joe? Rick Sansmeyer's signs say leadership and integrity on them. Any Rick Sansmeyer relationship between integrity, truth, leadership is purely coincidental. Let me repeat that. Any Rick Sansmeyer relationship between integrity, truth, and leadership is purely coincidental. Let me give you some examples. In a number of planning commission meetings I have attended, Rick Sandsmeyer is more interested in posing his opinion on a speaker than listening to them. Let me give you a specific. During the roundabout hearings, where he derided a speaker instead of listening to him, it was more important that this speaker not wear a t-shirt and shorts in to give his presentation than the expertise that he provided. That's Rick Sandsmeyer. This is not leadership. It is an improper use of his position and a lack of leadership. How about integrity? Rick Sansmeyer, when he pulled his candidate papers, was provided a manual by the city clerk specifically giving him the do's and don'ts as specified by city code. The clerk reviewed these with Rick Sansmeyer. The code specifically spelled out the placement of political signs. Mr. Sansmeyer's signs have shown up on private property without permission of the homeowner and repeatedly have been placed on homeowners association property, including being placed in an HOA tree at about the 20 foot level. Now, how did that sign get up there? What kind of potential liability issues could have resulted in Mr. Sansmeyer and or his associates or his sign placers falling out of that tree? 
I specifically witnessed Rick Sandsmeyer placing his signs on the Pinecrest Association property without permission. Then Rick Sandsmeyer, caught in the act, fabricated a whopper of a story which has been rejected by the authorities. Let's go back over that. Rejected by the authorities. Another note, see the Mission Video Dispatch on Rick Sandmeyer's questions and answers if he worked for a vendor that works for the city of Mission Viejo. Rick Sandsmeyer dodged, ducked, and deceived the public with his answers to the questions. Integrity, leadership, like I say, any relationship between those two characteristics is purely coincidental when talking about Rick Sandsmeyer. Thank you, Joe and Kathy, and everyone for considering this information and selecting who you will vote for for City Council. And don't forget to vote on November 2nd.